goosebumps watching that. Do you, do you, do you guys get the same feeling that, that, that these guys get in terms of when you see the trailers for this amazing thing that you're involved in? I saw it for the first time the other day because they were like, have you seen the trailer? I said, there's a trailer. I was like, oh yeah, there's a trailer. And I literally got it out. It was about 11 o'clock at home, just came back and watched it. And I had, yeah, I had goosebumps. It looks amazing. I haven't seen it yet. So, Jason, you're the only one out of the four of you who's seen the final, final film. <laughs> Can we turn Jason up? Jason is not here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get you a, a steak mic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, steak mic, please. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yes. I haven't actually seen the finished film yet, but I'm very excited to hear more. Jason. How did you feel? <laughs> Jason, how did you feel? How was the scene? It? it was uh, it was amazing and sad. And, and I, I tell you what I really felt was I felt relief because I, I'm such a fan. <laughs> all of the people involved in making it were such huge fans of the books and the stories sure. and the characters. And we're all really aware that we're not just you know, normally we make a movie. The hardest thing is to is to make the end, the last 20 minutes. But when you're making the end of 10 years worth of films. You really want to pay it off. You want to make sure that everyone who loved all the films and loved all the books get what they need. They have a fantastic big roller coaster ride. And you feel like everything pays off. And I just watched it and at the end, apart from having, you know, bitten my nails down and lost weight and sweated and been, uh, my stomach in knots, they finished and I went, thank God they got it right. They just really got it right. It is a huge, epic way to close 10 years of uh, our lives. Yeah. And um, Matthew, let's, let's, we've got, we've got a great clip of you. It's like a boxing ring. We've got we've got Matthew's side here <laughs> against the opposing side that side. And um, he, he really he really comes into his own in this in this final part. He kind of he proves his worth in a way, doesn't he? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, Neville Neville's come a long way in the last ten years, and um, we really see in this film uh, the culmination of that whole. I'm not sure, Mike, there. Sorry, don't worry about. No, you're fine. You're keep right. going. Keep um, the culmination of all, all that all that evolution. I mean. He really becomes a hero towards the end of this, and, um, and it was just sort of uh, amazing for me to really play that. And we worked really close with David to try and get it right because it's a really pivotal moment in the whole in the whole the, the, the decade of Harry Potter. And we just wanted to make sure, you know, for you guys that we really nailed it. And um, I mean, I don't know. We'll see on Thursday, I guess. It's, what, what I think is maintained throughout the entire ten years is that that tone has always been brilliant. Of it's a great kind of tense thriller, almost in a way, but it's comedy that that kind of trails through as well and, and in this particular scene we're about to have a look at you what follows is quite funny but let's have a look at the, the <laughs> here we go